Electricity. Du, 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 du. Oh. Good morning, my friends. Right, excited today uh, and a little apprehensive. Now, shh, keep your voice down because it is only half past five in the morning. However, I'm off to London today in my electric car or EV or whatever you want to call it. Electric vehicle, EV, electric car, Porsche Taycan. It's cost me, uh, I've just checked on my app, my Anderson charger. It's cost me round about £15 to charge it. We're going to get in the car. I can see actually through the window I've got 248 miles because it's summertime so you get more uh, mileage out of your battery uh, and it's 100%. Uh, we're off to London to see Darren John. However, London I am apprehensive about, but I say excited, but apprehensive very apprehensive because you've got congestion charge you've also got uh, the ultra low emission zone now you may think we're exempt from that think again it's not quite that straightforward I'll tell you a little bit more uh, on the way down in the car and there's also hidden costs as well so come with me if you're new to the channel though hit the subscribe button do it now hit the subscribe button that's it it's down there and also click that little bell for notifications when I upload new videos stay with me on the journey it's gonna be exciting well, I hope so anyway. Hopefully it's going to be uneventful, but we'll see. It never is with me, is it? So without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, we are on our way, my friends. Now, what I do find interesting before we go into all the ins and outs of how much it costs uh, to run an electric vehicle and what it costs to go into London, etc., and the hidden costs, are there are two kinds of people. And I find it interesting when I read the comments section on this video, because you've got the EV camp and you've got the internal combustion camp. And they're very, very passionate about what they believe in and their beliefs. The elect I find the electric vehicle community are extremely passionate. Sometimes, sometimes on the verge of being a bit of a troll. It's very bright, I'm afraid. So um, I do apologize. Oh, blimey, I can't even see. God, that's, that's really bad. Morning sun. Um, God, is that, that better? In 1,000 feet. Um, the roundabout oh, it's really bright right well, okay i'm gonna well anyway I'll, I'll come back to it that's that bit done well uh, i'll come back to you in a minute stay with me we just, where am i going the second exit onto a46 a46 it's not taking me the m1 it's not taking me the m1 oh no it's not taking me the M1. I knew that a while ago, actually. I thought, really, I wanted to go on the M1 because there are easy charging points on the M1. I believe this is going to try and take me down the A1, which is bit, a bit of a, an EV desert, charging desert. Uh, here we go. Right, yeah, it's going to take me down the A1. So, um, we'll go into the ins and outs in a little bit. Uh, there's also a, a, a hidden cost or a in couple of hidden costs. Miles. At the roundabout, take the second exit onto A46. A46. North. You've told me that north. Why are you going north? Weird. Uh, right. Anyway, I think it's taking me the A1 south. Uh, I'll see you in a minute. When not, it's too bright. Oh. Right, that's better, we're on the A1 South. Um, however, I prefer the M1. I, I feel a, a little bit, I'm a, I'm a bit of a creature of habit, and I just like to get to the M1, although it is a nightmare and I whinge about it when I'm on it. Anyway, we digress. So, electric car, electric vehicles, hidden costs, costs going into London. First of all, you think having an electric car is cheaper? Well, that's the big question, isn't it? It's roughly cost me 17 pound-ish, give or take. 
uh, to charge this up at home on my Anderson charger. Um, however, when you're charging externally and you're using uh, commercial chargers, it's going to cost you uh, a fair bit more. We'll try and put some in if there are any on the A1. I'm pretty sure there will be somewhere. Um, however, the M1's a lot easier to uh, charge up. Also, there's a charge point when I get to uh, uh, my mate Darren Johns as well. Now. Going into London, I think I'm actually going to miss the uh, congestion charge, hopefully today, and also the ultra low emission zone. I'm not sure whether it's going to take me in it or not, uh, but I am going to go into it when I'm down there. Now you would think, now stay, stay with me, stay with me, you would think that having an electric vehicle, they look at your license plate, you go into London, they go, oh, it's an electric car. We know it's an electric car, as every other council and, and the police know if they pick up on it. In fact, if you type it in and you type my number plate in, it says it's an electric vehicle. However, London, for some reason, don't know that and they want you to register for the uh, congestion, to be exempt from the congestion charge. So I had to go online, I think I had to pay a fee um, from memory. Pretty sure I had to pay a small fee. I can't, can't remember what it was. If, if you know, pop it in the comment section down below. It was not very much. I think it was about less than 20 quid anyway. So you have to pay a fee to then register your car uh, to be exempt from the congestion zone because it's an electric vehicle. But surely they should know that it's an electric vehicle. It just puts another hurdle in the way. And if you don't know that and you just think, oh, it's an electric car, I'm exempt. You will get a fine. You will get a fine. So you have to register for, to be exempt from the congestion charge zones in London. Uh, so I'll pop, pop a link because uh, I don't want to get any of the information wrong. But I've got a little certificate now that says I'm exempt from the congestion charge. Um, so that makes it a lot cheaper. However, However, and again, I know all you electric vehicle owners out there who's in the EV camp, pop it in the comment section down below because it isn't going to be free forever. I think once there's a certain amount of people got electric cars, then they're going to start charging again for the congestion zone. Um, because the government surely have to get their uh, taxes back somehow, don't they? Um, so there you go. Anyway, so I've... Uh, registered to be exempt from the congestion charge zone and the um, ultra low emission zones but it is interesting because if I drive into Birmingham they've got an ultra low emission zone they know that this is an electric car I don't have to re I don't have to register for anything so it seems to be that London are trying to just catch you out a little bit there naughty naughty London mm -hmm. hey listen up Sadiq Khan controversial anyway we're moving swiftly on a few of the hidden costs and is it cheaper to actually drive an electric car? Well, the initial outlay to start with, start with is more money. Um, costs you more money to outlay for the car. I know this is an expensive car, but even so, even if you buy a Renault or a Nissan, it's still more expensive if it's an EV. Right, uh, what I need now is uh, a coffee. However, the A1, all they seem to have at the side of the road, is adult stores. Old little chefs that have been converted into adult stores. Has anybody noticed that? Come on, onwards. Do you know, I always find the A1 a little bit archaic and, and abandoned. It's sort of like off to the side there isn't it it's thrown off to the side and then at the side of the road there's there's diners i don't know whether you've noticed if you drive along the a1 you probably will have noticed especially if you're a lorry driver um in fact jb if you're watching uh you can answer this one there's a lot of abandoned happy eaters and uh what, little chefs at the side of the road just boarded up um as i say a couple of them are probably like adult stores or whatever but it's just there's a lot of abandoned buildings at the side of the road the a1's just a little bit i don't know it's, it just feels a little bit lonely it's not as not as modern as the uh, 
is the M1. Anyway, we digress. Um, another thing, road tax at the moment. I don't pay any road tax for this car. It's uh, it's free. There is no road tax for the time being. And again, uh, that will change. I'm pretty sure. In fact, I'm pretty sure those of you in the EV camp will have already commented down below. Right, I need a coffee, but uh, so far, nothing. Hmm. Not even any chargers. Oh, well, I don't need to charge, luckily enough. I've got enough charge to get me there. However, I would like a little top up. Just makes me feel a little bit safer and stops that range anxiety. go did you see it adult store I don't need an adult store what why would you need that on the a1 I need a coffee don't need a, anything else I won't say it I don't need anything else I don't need any lube I need the only lubrication I need is a coffee <laughs> give me the m1 back oh <laughs> and you own one of them adult stores maybe have a little Costa coffee machine in there you might do better you might you know increase your takings <laughs> so thirsty oh do you know what my dad used to say he said I'm spitting feathers here I'm spitting feathers um, <laughs> I need a coffee. Oh man, uh, nothing as yet. Right, anyway, so servicing. Well, that's cheaper as well uh, because there's not really a lot to service. Brakes on this car last longer because when you brake in, it, a lot of the braking is done by the motors. So it's not using your brakes particularly, uh, unless you're braking really hard, then it does use your brakes. Um, it's not really a lot else to service on the car. However, um, like a mobile phone, the batteries on this car will deteriorate after time and to replace the batteries on this car is expensive however i probably won't have the car by then i'll have gone uh, over to something else um there isn't really anything else on the car i have had a lot of issues with this car though with the Taycan. i feel that this car i've had a lot of different portions i've had boxsters as you know if you watch the uh, watch the channel and i never had any problems with my boxsters at all or particularly with my McCann. Uh, however, with this car, I've had numerous problems. The whole computer system has been replaced. Now the indicator on the car is full of water. This is a porch, um, and that's full of water. Now that's got to be replaced. It basically pops out. My uh, valet had popped it out yesterday. And it's a, I can it dried it out, and it, this is a bit boring, really, to be honest. But anyway, I'm going to take it back into porch. They want it in for um, a few hours. Oh, Starbucks, but it's on the opposite side of the road. Oh, oh man, that's like torture. Is it Starbucks? Yeah, it's on the opposite side of the road. Oh, right, anyway, so servicing on the car. Yes, servicing is cheaper unless you keep the car and you replace the batteries. If you are a bit of a, an EV fanatic, how much would it cost? to replace the batteries on this car and at what point would they need replacing comments down below 
Come on, onwards. God, blimey, there's nothing. There's a house there. Could have pulled in and asked him to put the cat on. Right, a Starbucks at long last. Here we go. I'll tell you what I've got to watch out for in here. I don't know, whoever invents car parks, by the way, right? If you're an architect who invents car parks and exits and entrances, why do you put curbs everywhere so that you can curb your car? I basically curbed my car the other day, caught my wheel on it, scraped the whole wheel because they decided rather than put a white line in the middle of the road, they actually put a concrete bollard like that. Just drives me nuts. Anyway, I need a, an, I, oh, there's a Greg's over the road as well. Could have had a little, oh, oh man, now that is torture because I like a Starbucks, but gotta have a Greg's blooming sausage and bacon butty in the morning, haven't you? Oh, it's to do with the Starbucks pastry. I'm not, I'm not gonna run over the A1. Anyway, come on. Onwards. Oh, right, little break. So I've had the uh, Starbucks skinny latte uh, and I've had the only thing that I actually like in Starbucks ready to eat is some of their fruit toast with a little bit of Lurpak uh, and a little strawberry jam in it. I like that, a little container like that. Makes you want to take the container home and wash it out and use it for something, doesn't it? Anyway, I'll eat this uh, and then we'll get back on the road again. See, hidden costs. Uh, are there any charge points here? Hidden costs are basically coffees when you're charging up. However, no charge points here. So, that is interesting, because this would be an ideal place to put a charge point, because I could be charging my car now. Anyway, leave me to it, I'll see you in a minute. There you go, kind of interesting. You've got the uh, the Greggs over the road there, and then you've got the cafe that looks like it's been left back in 1972, uh, with the signage and the net curtains that haven't been changed since then either. Uh, that's uh, torture though, Greggs over the road. It'd like a video game trying to get over the A A1, wouldn't it? Something a little bit like Hungry Horace or something, Hungry Mac Master. Anyway, let's get back in the car. Blimey, it's bright this morning. Come on. Onwards. Oh. Right, so, no charging points um, anywhere here, which you would think if the government are really serious about electric vehicles and uh, EVs, then they'd start putting more electric charging points around because this would be an ideal place to put charging points just over there. I could have been charging my car. I don't know. Anyway, come on, let's get back on the road. Right, okay, uh, can't get back on the road just yet. Here we go. Uh, let me just take this off. See, the spinning wheel of death on there like that. And also there. So I've got to reset my car now because it's not starting. So I'll turn the car off. Don't know what's going on. Get out of the car. Try again. See you in a minute. Right, no, still loading map, loading system. 
this is the this is the, the thing with electric cars all this technology and it's now not working I mean I'm glad it's happened on camera so I'm stuck now in Starbucks because none of my systems come on right so now uh, I'm just waiting I've restarted the car I've I've locked the car and I've unlocked the car to try and reset it because all the systems are now just spinning around like they are on a on a computer so I'm glad this has happened actually on camera because this it does it all the time it literally is there's so many so many different things it's like a it's like a PC on wheels so now I'm wasting time waiting for the car to reboot no still loading literally nothing i've waited five minutes i've restarted the car um you couldn't write this literally it's just spinning around and basically the the the, the whole computer system has just crashed and it's just spinning around i've just got the spinning wheel of death this car's doing my head in honestly really is this the future oh, oh just driving me nuts right well it's still not started it says loading map loading system i've now got no screen for the sat nav i'm gonna to have to flick over to my phone on here uh, and try and rest it somewhere on there see if i can use that screen because the whole computer system on the car's just just crashed so i don't know what it's doing i've got nothing i've got no systems on the car i can see how fast i'm going but the whole computer system just gone honestly one word crap i've had enough of this car i really have let's get on the road right so it's still not started i've basically got a spinning wheel of death on here um i've got no systems on my car now at all uh the navigation i can't see um because Waze is connected to that Apple CarPlay is still connected to it in the background but I can't see anything let me get away from this lorry because it's kicking up stones and stuff one second it's one of these highway maintenance lorries um, so basically I've got no systems no GPS no navigation um, and I, I can't even it's not my map's not showing up on my phone what a nightmare and this is the future I'm glad this has happened on camera because this is literally, it's just garbage. I'm really seriously thinking about getting rid of this car now and going back and uh, just getting a petrol car. I can't, I've never had problems like this ever before in my life, unbelievable. And this is not put on for camera, the system is not loading. So um, I'm going to pull into the services here. I've got Darren John uh, on the phone here. I'm now late and behind schedule. Uh, and uh, I can't believe this at all. Uh, so DJ, what would you do if this was your car? I don't know what I'd do. I can't hear you. Are you there? I am. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm just pulling off at the services. What do you reckon to electric cars, mate? Get rid of it, mate. Get a 911. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to, I mean, I don't. I give in. I completely give in. I'll see you whenever, mate. <laughs> I'll ring you. Bye, mate. I'll see you when you get here. <laughs> yeah. See you next year. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Cheers. See you, mate. Right, I'm having to, uh, the car's telling me to um, pull over at my earliest opportunity. So I'm now going to try and pull over at the services and reset the car. Um, <laughs> it's still just spinning around, so I, I, I give in. My car's literally crashed like a PC. 
Unbelievable. Right, so um, we've still got the spinning wheel of death on here. Um, I've pulled into McDonald's. I thought, oh, I'll charge up while I'm here. No chargers. Um, to be fair, I, I really are. This, this is becoming the final straw um, because it's just driving me nuts. I'm going to switch it off now for 20 minutes because sometimes it clears itself. Uh, and then, uh, I, I don't know, try and reboot it or something. There's a way of rebooting it, I'm gonna have to ring Porsche. But this is a complete joke. This, this is the future, my friends. Right, well, uh, there's a McDonald's. The services on the A1 are just rubbish, really, aren't they, compared to the M1? Um, so now I'm just waiting until the car tries to reboot itself. See, none of this is staged, none of this is put on. I want to try and get down to London. This is, for once, it's not clickbait. My car actually crashed like a PC. Um, but I'm now wasting time for it to try and reset itself. And it's odd because sometimes it'll do that, you'll switch it off, you'll go back to the car, 20 minutes off an hour later and it'll be fine because it like reboots itself when the computer's been off but it's just absolutely ridiculous um, never never have I had a problem like this before uh, in all of my life in any of the other Porsche cars that I've had and this it's just one problem after another Could this day get any worse? I've literally just sat on that bench now and my backside's wet through now. Oh, blummy neck. Right, okay, so um, we're back on. I turned it off. <laughs> I feel like I'm an IT bloke. What do you do with it? What do you do? My computer's not working. Turn it off, turn it back on again. Basically, that is what I've done with the car. I've turned it off, sat down, wet my jeans through, so I've put the heated seats on now, which is taking battery to, to dry my jeans, uh, and the car's working again now, so we're gonna get back on the road, but this is uh, a complete joke, really. I'm glad it happened on camera, because um, at least now you can see real life EV ownership. I mean, this is the Taycan, and I'll, I'll, turn left. I have to say, then turn right. Um, there's a massive, massive curve there. Let me just put the suspension up. Um, I have to say, absolutely terrible. Do not, do not ever get one of these cars. Completely dreadful. And now there's curbs everywhere in McDonald's. I'm being careful. Here we go. Whoever designs these McDonald's car parks, I'll tell you what. Let's just put curbs everywhere so you can... I think they're in cahoots with all the alloy wheel companies, refurb companies. Right, let's get back on the road. Onwards, my friends, while it's still working. Now, look here, I've got Waze on my computer. Police reported ahead. There we go, look. Thank you very much, Waze. Look on that bridge and you will see the police speed cameras. Look at that, there you go. Yay, thank heavens for Waze. There you go, speed cameras. Right, so we've got 54 miles to go, one hour and eight minutes, I've got 59%. Uh, left of battery um, so far well so far so good maybe not uh, but so far since we've started again and rebooted uh, but I am on edge it puts me on edge it does make you think though doesn't it we've got like car mechanics and everybody thinks their job is is safe uh, you know I thought my job was safe in newspapers but newspapers evolved and then along came the 
uh, well newspapers didn't evolve actually uh, they stayed behind in the past and then the internet took over and local newspapers now becoming a thing of the past really uh, and then mechanics now where is this going to leave mechanics because there's not really anything mechanical on this car there's very very little mechanical parts on the car it's computer systems batteries and electronics so we're going to have mechanics that are now turning into IT technicians basically I mean this is just absolutely crazy the amount of electronics that's on the car what would interest me is anybody with a Tesla have you had the same problem because this is literally a known issue uh, of the Porsche Taycan it just the computer system just crashes all the time um, I have to say love Porsche cars the mechanics are great the computer systems and the software crap honestly terrible right come on onwards my friends Point three miles left, 19 minutes roughly. Keep left onto junction 4 to A406 south. Thank you. Got 42% left of battery, which is giving me 105 miles. We're coming into it says it says an ultra-low emission zone two miles ahead. Don't know whether that applies to the uh turning that I'm going on to. Uh, am I on the right thing here? Yes, I am. Uh so I'm exempt from that, from the ultra low emission zone, because it's an electric car. Uh, I'm also exempt from the congestion charge. I don't think I go into the congestion charge zone, but if I do, again, I've got a little certificate that says I'm exempt from it for a year, then you have to reapply for it again, um, if I've still got this car by then, and not come back to a petrol controversial. Um, so, there we go so far. Stick with me, and uh, we'll see how many miles I've got left when I get to Darren John's and also he's got a charging point down there in the basement so hopefully I should be able to charge but you do need your own cable which I bought which is in the boot right oh, more traffic jams you know what it's a lot easier on the train <laughs> tell you what is actually interesting is the amount of cameras down here it's like a minefield really because you've got average speed check cameras you've got bus lane cameras you've got the uh, so you don't go into the yellow box cameras because I got done with that before uh, literally went over a car stopped in front and I ended up stopping in the box and I got a fine for it so you've got that, you've got uh, ultra low emission zone, then you've got the congestion charge. There literally is, oh, and bike lane cameras as well you've got. Um, there's cameras everywhere. I think the UK is possibly the worst country in the world, in the world, where cameras are. You cannot go anywhere. And it's all about this. That's all it's about. It's all about making money. Um, it, it's, a, it's a nightmare trying to drive anywhere if you're from um, another country from around the world if you're from the United States when I lived in the States New York was not like that New York didn't have camera after camera after camera uh, and that's a big city are any of the big cities where you live like this from around the world Leeds actually as well Leeds 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 are having an ultra low emission zone Bradford's got an ultra low emission zone Birmingham now is having an ultra low emission zone and there's cameras everywhere is it like that in your country or your city or your town let me know down below right just being overtaken by a ferrari or undertaken by a ferrari no it's not going to undertake i'm doing 50 and the speed cameras and I'm, that, that lane in by the way in the mile. left is use the left lane to exit left onto a 10 11 towards stratford is the, where i need to be so i'm going to go into it now watch the motorcycle go let's get over there absolute nightmare now I'm trying to overtake this car at the left there to try and pull in front of him but I don't want to go over 50 because there's cameras 
So there we go, I'm in front now. A lot easier on the train, I tell you. Right, come on, onwards. Oh, right. I'm actually here. Here we go. Oh, made it. Right, just waiting for DJ to let me in now. And then hopefully, hopefully, I'll be able to charge. Now I'm left at 38%, by the way. 97 miles left um, so yeah current charge 38% 97 miles left so hopefully he's got a bit of a charger down there and it'll work and then I'll be fully charged when I get back I did do a bit of a, a recce on it I think it's pod point and I've got the app so I should be able to plug in hopefully it works if not then I'm gonna have to try and find somewhere to charge before I go back but I'm hoping hoping it'll work Excuse me, mate. Um, do you have a plug that I can use? To, just a plug, so I can to, not my no. I don't want to charge my phone. Have you got a plug so I can charge my car, please? No. Get a 911 instead. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you may have a point. Now, if you can let me in, hopefully you've got a charger downstairs. Get the fobs. Oh, he's going to get the fobs. Two minutes, Two minutes right? Okay, careful, because I I don't want battery to run out. Right, so now another thing, because the car's so wide, because it's uh, because of all its batteries, we're trying to get in the garage now, and here's the thing. So that's like really wide, and the car's wide. There's drivers and there's drivers. Listen, that's <laughs> what well, that's that is tight. It I is mean, tight. that is tight. It is tight, but one hour later. Right, I've actually parked. I tell you what, though. <laughs> took about an hour to get down here and then try and get he puts me in a space that's literally got like this here uh, at least that car's not moving but he says it's a good <laughs> gonna have to leave at three o'clock on friday now we've got a pod point which is here so it's just a matter of whether or not these work if not have you got an <laughs> extension cable that i can put right up to your floor and then plug it into your electric. No. <laughs> no. Get on 11. Right, give me a minute and we'll see whether it charges and then we'll do the outro. Right, so we're all plugged into pod point. It's charging. Uh, it'll be charged at 10.40. That's a bit of a slow charger, that is. Well, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Battery charged at 10.44 a.m. on Friday. I just need to look at that, actually. Uh, yeah, I need... To because that's very slow charging. I'll, ch I'll just check that. There we go. Right, okay, so car's charging, albeit slowly. Uh, the Podpoint app um, is uh, not linked to the charger, so uh, there we go. I've rung Podpoint. Uh, it's now 40 minutes later because <laughs> I've rung Podpoint and it needs registering, linking to a Wi Fi or whatever. But however, we digress. It's going to give me six kilowatts. Uh, which means it'll take two days to give me a full charge, but I don't need a full charge. Uh, these are the issues though with um, with electric oh, cars. 9-11! Get, get 9 11. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so there we have it. Uh, electric cars and uh, my car crashed like a PC. Uh, actually, that's, a, that's the title. My car crashed like a PC. And it's not actually clickbait this time, it did. Well, thanks for change. <laughs> thanks, for <laughs> thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. There is more car content coming your way. Who knows, you might see me hand it back and get a 911 and go back to internal combustion. What do you reckon, geezer? Yes. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. internal combustion engine you know the fans of the internal combustion electric will never catch on it's going to be it, it, they, they will be basically they'll be they'll be that's balls isn't it it's just rubbish that's shit, that is why I, I just don't forget it uh, one of them uh, you've got the camp where everybody is in uh, and that's shit as well not everybody's in it just with fish and chips like stick the fish and chips Right, we are on our way, my friend. That's too f bright now. 
Yeah!